Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again, and well, if you remember how in May, I did a Transformers collection video, I pretty much showed my entire Transformers collection up to that point. Well, it's been nearly two months since that video, so I've decided to do an update video showing my collection now. So this is my Transformers collection for June 2020, and to start off, my layout of, well, my way of displaying my Transformers has definitely changed, as you'll see. So, I'm trying not to cover the mic. Here, I have Cybertron Starscream. So, yeah, I have this guy separate from my other Transformers because he's just so damn big, and... If you remember my old collection video, then you remember that there were two tables together. Well, now that's not there. It's only one table, and here I've got a gaming chair. But that's not really part of the collection video. But yeah, here, here we, ugh, this is where my tongue stops working. Here, we have Cybertron Starscream. Complete with his sound effects. So yeah. Then moving on, we, we get to these cards. I'll show you, if I just show you these. Here I have cards for Armada Sideswipe, Armada Frost, Energon Steam Hammer, even though it's sort of tilting, Cybertron Clocker, or in this case the Japanese release named Skids, I'm not joking. Here I have cards for Combiner Wars Hotspot, Titans Return Astro Train, Titans Return Blur, Titans Return Top Spin, or Autbot Top Spin, because that's a typo. And Power of the Prime's Dreadwind. And I also have this card for the GoBot Psykill. I also have the G1 tech specs for Mirage, Blitzwing, Kickback. Although, he's sort of the blue tech's failing on Kickback. And the Micromaster Offroad Patrol. Now in here, I have my GoBots, which I've been reviewing recently. Now, I'm not going to name these guys. This is your chance to show off your GoBots knowledge. Pause the video and try and see how many GoBots you're able to name. So, yeah, that's pretty much my GoBots. I just keep them in a little cupboard right for now because of space. Here I have some Transformers fact sheets I actually made while, while at school. So if you want to pause these and read these if you can. I know my handwriting is not the greatest. Well, on top of that, here we have my Generation 1 figures! So... I've got a couple of Generation 1 figures. Here I have Generation 2 Megatron. With his sound feature. Here I have the Power Master Double Dealer. In his robot mode, more well, Autobot mode. The Pretender Landmine, outside his shell. Generation 2 Silverbolt. I don't have the rest of the aerial bots, sadly. I mean, I can't even get Slingshot, he's so brittle. Cyclonus. Menasaur. Com complete with all the Stunticons. I've got Motormaster, Dragstrip, Dead End, and here we have Wild Rider and Breakdown, and they're oriented backwards, so Menasaur actually has functioning knees, and so he looks more like his Combiner Wars figure. Here, I have Blitzwing, and this is actually a KO version of Blitzwing, because, yeah, one of the feet broke off, so I, I used blue type to stand them. I know, it's rather annoying, and this guy's sort of off-center. Here, we have Sunstreaker and Mirage. These two are also KOs. Sunstreaker's missing a shoulder pylon, sadly. Here we have Prowl, Skids. Red Alert and Inferno. These guys are all commemorative series reissues. Here we have the Power Master Slapdash and the Seeker Thrust. Now coming along, here we have some of my smaller figures. Here I have the Frollbots, Goldbug and Rollbar. The mini vehicles, Outback, Swerve and Tailgate, who were all reissued a couple years ago. Here I have the Jump Starters, Top Spin and Twin Twist. The Battle Chargers, Runabout and Runamuck. 
Behind them we have some of the double target masters, Scoop and Quick Mix. The Insecticons, Kickback and Bombshell. Also, yes, I'm missing Landfill for these guys and I'm missing Shrapnel for these guys. Here we have the Duocon, Flywheels and 8 Micromasters. Here we have the Off-Road Patrol with Powertrain, High Jump, Mudslinger and Tote. And the Race Car Patrol with Road Handler, Freewheeler, Swindler and Tailspin. So that's pretty much my entire G1 collection here, as you can see. Rather cool, right? Well, so, come on, coming on to my, my, my main Transformers display, this is where I display most of my other figures. Here, I have three shelves. So we have got a lot to get through, so... Get this over with. Starting off with the top shelf. Here I have my my like Voyager class figures. I have a gap here because, well, I recently bought Optimus Primal, the Beast Wars figure, the gorilla, and I plan on putting him right here. But as for the ones I actually own right now, here I have Armada Scavenger and his mini con Rollbar. Armada Galvatron and his Minicon Clench. Energon Megatron, the smaller version of that two pack from, with Optimus. Cybertron Quick Mix and his Minicon Strip Mine. Cybertron Evac minus his blades, sadly, but oh well. Here we have the 2007 movie Mudflap, complete with his yellowness. And here we have Universe Blaster. Or Cybertron Blaster, a recolor of Cybertron Soundwave, and his Minicon, Blockrock, who is, of course, recolored from Laserbeak. Coming down, here we have my Deluxe, most of my Deluxe Autobots, most of them are Armada, but we've got two Scout classes. So here we have Cybertron Clocker, or in this case, the Japanese release named Skids. Here we have Armada Smokescreen, and sadly, I don't have Liftor, who is supposed to be his minicon. I don't have Liftor, sadly. But here we have Armada Hoist with Refute. Armada Sideswipe with Nightbeat. Armada Deluxe Optimus Prime, or Bendy Prime as he's called, with Overrun. Blur, along with Incinerator. Cyclonus. With Crumple Zone and Blur and Cyclonus at the time of recording are my most recent figures. Here I have the Night Attack Minicon team with Scator, Broadside, and Fetch. Here I have Sideways without Rookin' Crosswise because they're broken. Here I have Power Links Frost with Inferno, or as I call them, Dedge and Grapple. Here we have Cybertron Thundercracker, Cybertron Dirt Boss, and Cybertron Swindle, minus his weapon. Oh uh, well. So, I pretty much does it for this shelf. And now for the last shelf. Here we have Energon Hotshot, Energon Inferno, Energon Optimus, although this is the smaller version. So, it's not the one who combines with Omega Supreme, it's the one who combines with the other Deluxe Autobots. Here, I have Ronimus, Prowl, or in this case, the Swap Prowl recolor that came in a two-pack with an Autobot named Checkpoint, who I don't have. Here we have Energon Downshift, R.I.D. Optimus, I'm not sure which one. R.I.D. Soundwave, not sure which one. Here I have Energon Constructicon Maximus with Steam Hammer as the torso, along with Sledge, Dust Storm, and if you can see them, Wide Load and Bone Crusher. So yeah. Now on the front, I have some smaller figures. Here I have Cybertron, no, not Cybertron, Cyberverse Legends Class Megatron. 
I have Titans Return Top Spin, Titans Return Blur, Combiner Warriors Ironhide, and Power of the Primes Dreadwind, along with the Titan Masters Brawn and Skytread. And I also have Combiner Warriors Hotspot and Titans Return Astro Train. So yeah, some collection, eh? Crazy. I'll just give you a huge close up and see if you can remember the, the names of any of these guys while going back in the video. So go ahead and pause now if you want to. Okay, time's up. Now, finally, well not finally, but in here, in this auditorium which has my school laptop, my home laptop and a fan because it gets really warm in here I have a lot of boxes so you see I've got the boxes for Prowl, Skids and Red Alert if I can just get that I also have Inferno's box right there I have the box for Astro Train I have the box for the KO Sunstreaker from earlier here we have Dreadwind's box, Steamhammer's box, and even the GoBots Combiner Courageous. So now I do also have the box for the Megatron Prime Energon 2 pack, although it's hidden by the other boxes, so I'm not gonna show it. And last but not least, a little junk drawer. So if I get my mouse and this pencil case out of the way, as you can see, I've got some of the instructions for these figures. So got Galvatron's instructions here. I have the instructions for Steam Hammer. I got Thundercracker, Prime, Ronimus. Yeah, I never showed these in the reviews because come on, they're freaking instruction manuals. What can be said about them? But I also have some comics in here. I'm not gonna show you them because I'm more collective figures and it's mainly just. It's just one of the Dreamwave G1 comics and a few of the Armada comics, and that's it from Dreamwave. So. That pretty much does it for my Transformers collection for June 2020. Although I think it was shorter than my May one, I've definitely gotten a few more Transformers since then. So, this has been my Transformers collection video, and this is Charlie Young, signing off.